Hey y'all and welcome back. I'm super excited to show you my PDV Creative Studio Resin Art Collection Volume 5. This box is packed full of incredible things so we're going to dive right into unboxing. When I got this in the mail it was in of course another box and this was on top. This is a custom apron with a really cute PDB Halloween logo on front. It's really lightweight. I'm so glad they sent this because I'm always ruining <laughs> my good clothes working in my craft room. So I can throw this on and keep my clothes protected from any crazy paint splatters or epoxy. Each of these resin collections comes in this high quality gift box that just really feels like you're unwrapping a Christmas present when you untie that bow on the front. The first thing that we have on top is a glitter peel pack from EnchantedSoapery.com. This is double-sided adhesive already cut, which is huge. For those that may have trouble cutting the double-sided tape with their silhouette or Cricut. It even came with a couple samples and a tester sheet so you can practice putting your glitter onto them before you use the ones that are cut with lots of detail. And no worries, once we get through this box, I am going to show you how to use the majority of the items. And of course, the ones that I don't show in this video, I will link all of the tutorials that I have used the products in down below in the description. So the next thing that we have is a sample of Speedy PD from DIY Epoxy. This is a facet epoxy that I have used in the past in my tutorials. Then we have a custom gem mix or rhinestone mix called Beetlejuice. <laughs> I have these containers that I always put all of my rhinestones in and of course my beads and little clay pieces and accessories. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump these in so you can see how pretty this Halloween mix is. Next up, we have a very long strip of this really pretty rainbow full now everything that is in this box can vary just slightly so you may get a different color you might get a different mix so same product just possibly a different color variation we also have some beads that you can create keychains or accessories with and it comes with these really cute halloween little beads to add on as well you can put those in between these for some super cute keychains or you can also add them on to the bubble pins for a quick and easy project. This glitter mix is called Freaking Bats. <laughs> I love it. And it has a really cute mix of some dots as well as like stars and bats in here. This is really good to put on, you can do it on a solid cup, on a drip, just to sprinkle like very sparsely to add a little bit of extra detail and have it pop on your tumbler or whatever project you're working on. Every resin box I have received from PDB Creative Studio has included some pretty incredible molds. These two obviously are small enough that they don't require a tremendous amount of epoxy, but you can see that there's tons of detail in these and it has matte and glossy finish on it. So even if you do one solid color of glitter or mica mixed into your epoxy, you're gonna get a really beautiful result. Now we also have some UV spider nail gel in here as well. I have used this in a tutorial I did in the past, so I will link that down in the description for you below. And I'll also show you in this video how to use those. It come with a pen that you do need to use with this nail gel. 
and you will also need a UV light to use this. Or of course, you can actually sit it outside in the sun to help it cure as well. Then we have this tulip paint, which is often used to add on some drips instead of using epoxy and a couple little stick on water bottle charm accessories. So if say it's a gym water bottle, they can pop on a key or put a little accessory on the side with a name. And you can also put some like glitter and epoxy or put a design on this. So it's extra cute to add on to a bottle. We also had a cute little bat keychain mold and we have two pigment powders. This is zombie and fortune you only need a teeny teeny tiny amount of this to make a huge impact in whatever you're working on we have some cute little spider pieces that you can glue on to your tumblers or add on to some rhinestone designs we have some clay pieces which are really awesome to sprinkle on to tumbler drips and we do have some full glue in here that is very, very similar to Tacket. I actually like the consistency of this way better than Tacket. It was so much easier to work with, but you can use this to use to do the Tacket method with your glitter, your micas, or of course, add on your fools to your tumbler. We also had two micas in this box. I had a beautiful deep purple and green, which was wicked and mysterious. And of course, we cannot forget our absolute favorite decal company, which is gracefully created. We have a couple of white decals in here, which means that you can put these on any surface, dark or light. There were also three different sizes of striping tape, which is really awesome. So it saves you the hassle of cutting it with your machine. PDB Creative Studio has a lot of these already in store. And this one was a holographic black, which is just perfect for everything that we have in this box. We also have two glitters. This one is Purple People Eater <laughs> and Great Pumpkin, which was my absolute favorite. It is so sparkly. We also have a few straws and they also have some of these available in their store. And last but not least, we have an airbrush. We are giving away one of these boxes in Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr Art Group on Facebook. So if you aren't over there, hop on and check out the giveaway. But I did ask everyone what their favorite thing in the box was. And this was the most mentioned item. And of course, how do you use it? So now that we have everything out of the box, we are going to assemble this together. It is rechargeable at the port that I just showed you there. So we're gonna put this little container on top, put the sprayer on top of that base and jump right in to using the items from this box. Now there are paints made specifically for these airbrushes and I will find some and have them linked down below for you, but you can also use alcohol inks in here. So you can take some rubbing alcohol, which is what I have in this little bottle here just to help me blend my alcohol inks, and then take some of your micas or pigments. We're going to use zombie from the box. Just sprinkle a tiny bit in there. It does not take much at all give it a little bit of a swirl pop that lid back on and then the button on the bottom or on the front side of the airbrush is how you turn it on you don't want to go straight in to airbrushing your project you want to grab a piece of paper or a paper towel something to turn this on and then use the little lever at the top to spray 
do that once or twice to get those first couple of sprays out and then you can go in to airbrushing your project. You can do a consistent spray or use short burst, but just move your hand back and forth to get great coverage on this. And as you can see, that mica is pretty freaking awesome. It also dried really, really fast since we're spraying a very light coat on. You can use this to spray over like a peekaboo design. Just make sure that you do take a matte clear coat and spray on top of it so it doesn't run or move once you start applying your epoxy. And of course, in between colors or after each use, you want to run a little bit of alcohol through this just to clean everything out and get that previous color out and ready for your next. Now I'm going to show you how to use this full glue to apply the fulls as well as the tacket method for micas. So you're just going to put a very small amount on your tumbler. I'm using a makeup brush to get really nice even streak free coverage. You can allow this to dry for 20 to 30 minutes to until it is clear. Once it is clear, it is dry, or you can just grab your heat gun on a low heat setting and dry that up in just a couple of minutes. Once I have mine dry, I'm going to actually grab each of the micas and pigment powders that come in this box and show you how to apply them and how each of them look. Wearing some gloves is best so you don't make a mess with these, but you just take, you can either sprinkle a little bit on if you're doing an entire tumbler, or in this case, I'm just doing a very small area to show you. I'm just going to dab my gloved hand into that mica and rub it on to my tumbler. For whatever reason, I forgot about our fools and went straight to the spider nail gel, but I promise we'll get right back to the fools. So for the spider nail gel, you're just going to open this container up and grab your nail gel pen. This stuff is really sticky, so just be careful opening it, opening it up. That way you don't have a mess on your hands. So I use the tool to help open it up a little bit. And you can actually use some double-sided tape to help keep that down onto the table. Because as you can see, it moves around a little bit as I'm trying to get the little strings. But once you grab a hold of a little bit of that nail gel, you're going to just flip it around your cup or wherever you want it to go. You want very thin lines. And wherever you stop, you just sort of tap your cup and then you can go the opposite way. Once you have this on your tumbler, you want to use a UV light to cure it for a couple of minutes or you can sit it outside for a couple of hours and allow it to cure in the sun. Again, I do have a very detailed tutorial on using some nail spider gel, so I will have that linked down below for you as well. All right, now back to our fools. So I'm just gonna do a very small section just to show you how this works in case you don't know how. I'm just going to trim off a little piece of this. I'm going to stick it directly on top of where we had that full glue. You can also use tacket 
or any sort of tacky glue. Rub that down really well in the area that you want it to stick and then pull it carefully up and you will leave your fools on your tumbler. Moving right along into our tulip paint. Again, you can use this to create you know, special designs on your tumblers, but the most popular way it is used is to do a drip. The way I do it is sort of, I guess, mold where I want the drip to go and just put it on really thin, as you can see here, and then you just tap your cup onto the table below and allow that to drip down. Doing it this way, it gives you a nice thick drip, or of course you can take one little stripe across the top and if the thicker that you have this stripe across the top the more stringy drips that you are going to get i just did one thin line so mine is not going to drip a tremendous amount but it gives you an idea of how it works and then of course you can take either your clay pieces or some of the glitter dots that come in this box and sprinkle that on top to add a little something extra to your drips Anytime you're using a puff paint, you do want to allow it to dry for 12 to 24 hours. That way you know it is completely dry before you add on any epoxy on top. And the last thing that I'm going to show you how to use out of this box is our double-sided adhesive tape. So we're just going to take one of these little pumpkins. I'm not going to use one of the super detailed ones, but I will give you an idea on how to use it and also link a few tutorials that I have cut my own down below so that you can also see how to pull out the little pieces in the center of those detailed and use multiple colored glitters. So for this one, I just peeled it right off the sheet, applied it to my tumbler. If you are using a more detailed one, you would just Pull out the sections that you want to glitter and dust the glitter off in between each glitter color. I pulled off that protective layer that was on top, sprinkled my glitter on, and then very gently sort of tapped it down into that sticky surface and sort of rubbed it in and then just knocked off all that excess glitter and it was ready to go. Anytime you use the double-sided adhesive tape, you do want to make sure you seal it in before going in with your epoxy. And that is all. If you have any questions about anything else in the box, feel free to ask me in the comments below. And if I have a tutorial available, of course, I will link it for you or show you how to use any other items that I missed. Don't forget to join the Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr Art Group. We are giving away one of these boxes in my group. And of course, if and when some of these PDB Creative Studio items become available on their website, or of course, when the next resin box becomes available, I will let you know. That is all for today. Thank you all so much, and we will see you next time.